This video explains how to extract a specific element from a pandas data frame using the Python programming language. So without too much talk, let's dive into the Python code. As a first step for this tutorial, we need to import the pandas library as you can see in the first line of code. And then we need to create an example data frame using the data frame constructor as you can see in the second code box. So in this code box, I'm creating a new data frame called data and I'm printing this data frame below the code box. So as you can see, we have created a new data set which contains nine rows and four columns, which are called x1, x2, x3 and x4. And now in the next step, we are going to extract certain elements from this data frame. So in the first example of this tutorial, I'm using the IAT attribute of our data set and I'm specifying within square brackets that I want to extract the fifth row and the second column. And then I'm storing the output of this in a new data object that I'm calling data cell one. I'm also printing this data object below the code box using the print function. And then you can see that we have returned the value 22. And if you go back to our original data set, you can see that in the fifth row, at the second index position of the columns, the value 22 occurs. So in this case, we have returned this value from our data frame. We can also use the add attribute, as you can see in the next example, to extract certain values from a data frame. And in this case, I'm specifying that I want to extract the value in the first row. And I'm also specifying that I want to extract this value from the column x2. And I'm creating a new data object that is called data cell 2, which contains this output. And I'm printing this new data object below the code box. So as you can see, in this case, the value B is contained at this position in our data set. That's all I wanted to explain in this video. In case you want to learn more on this topic, you may check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on my homepage, I have recently published a tutorial in which I'm explaining the content of this video in some more detail. I will put a link to this tutorial into the description of the video so you can find it there. If you have liked this video or if you have any questions, let me know in the comments section below. I'll try to respond to all comments as soon as I can. Furthermore, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel to get notified about future video releases. I have already published about 500 videos on this channel and I'm releasing new videos on a daily basis. Thanks a lot for watching. See you in the next video.